to sponsor the Nations Cup because we believe success comes from working together. Here's the second American rider on course. Candice Schlamm. Well, she went around the first time and the second time with nothing down in the first two rounds. The key reason why the Americans are here in this jump off, what can she do now? Well, I know she's a tremendously gifted speed rider. She's won a lot of speed classes. And this horse is responding beautifully. Again, the time is about 35.74. That's been best on course so far. I think she's ahead of that right now, Tim. She's improving upon Tony Font's score. They, excuse me, David Raposa's score. Mula, she makes the quick turn and now oh, starts yeah. that long route. <laughs> A long, long way. And leaves out the strides. A beautiful ride. 34.89. Well, I don't know. Really puts the Americans in the catbird seat right now. It's an amazing when riders are in a clutch position how they respond. Look at all the trouble they were having at 5 A and B. Come jump off, they're really clutch riding, they're pulling it all together and getting the job done. And yes, the pressure is on Canada now. Great ride. She's being clear in two rounds and a jump off. 20-year-old Candy Schlaw. World Cup Final of Grand Prix Show Jumping. Over 40 competitors representing over a dozen nations are vying for this most coveted title of 1991. Hello everyone, I'm Leandra Riley along with six-time Olympian Frank Chappelle. And Frank, how does this competition play into the Olympic picture? Well, this is a great place for our young people to gain valuable international experience and actually show how, how they can perform under the pressure with uh, the best of Europe has to offer. Now you're looking at Wula. Wula is ridden by Candace Sloan, who's just 21 years old from the United States. Well, Candace is, is just emerging as one of the stars in international competition. She comes from California. She rode in the, uh, on the U.S. team in the fall circuit last year uh, in Toronto. She jumped a double clear in the Nations Cup, quite a feat for someone in their first time on the team. She finished second in a uh, $100,000 World Cup competition in Toronto, Canada last year, last fall, in November. She brings in 16 and a half faults to today's final round. And yep. this, is, this is really different than a single Grand Prix event that we might see in the United States when you're asked to compete again and again and again. She went through the combination quite well. And this is a little horse, quite small for uh, for international competition, but he's a real trier. He doesn't like to hit the jumps, and she gives him a very good ride. She's still clear. Quite a good performance. Looking very good. Yeah, and she's clear, so she's will move up in the standing. Adding to her 16 and a half faults, zero. Her total is 16 and a half for Candace Sloan, the 21-year-old from the United States. I think we'll see a lot more of her in the future. She's a very, very good rider, very cool competitor. 